So I understand that some people don't own stats too, and I've been getting some messages of people telling me that, so they can't really follow my tutorials. This is kind of a workaround to that. We're using variables instead of stats. So notice in the corner here, my health is tied to a variable. There's nowhere in this I'm using stats too. And notice how we drop it down and we die. So this is a workaround to not owning stats. So if you guys are interested, then stay tuned. All right, let's get started. So variables are very important. I only actually myself learned how to use them in the last couple weeks, but I realize now that all my videos that I make require stats two module. And this video basically is a substitute for that. So if you don't own stats two and you're just looking for a game creator two tutorial, then this method will let you follow all my videos without owning stats two. So let's make a basic stat system with variables. Um, I'm going to create an empty under my player and I'm going to call it health. We're going to give it a local list of variable and make that a number and then add the number. I'm going to give my player a thousand health. Okay. I'm going to go to um, my canvas. And under my panel, I'm going to create an empty. I'm going to call this player stats. I'm going to anchor it to the bottom left and add an image. All right. So this is where I want my stats to be held or to be shown. So I'm going to go ahead and create one for my health. I'm going to create a text for that. Call it HP. Make the text say HP as well. Alright. So this is where my health will be displayed. I'm going to duplicate this and drag it under itself as a child. Call this one value. Okay, the value, because I have a thousand health, I'm going to put four zeros so I know it fits. There we go. And then I'm going to create a trigger on this one. Trigger on update type in text collect or er, set change text to self go from string to variable local variable drag our health variable in that so right off the bat this should say a thousand now there you go so that works let's go ahead and add so let's let's pretend here for a second that we have an enemy with a weapon and on that weapon we have a variable and that would be the weapon damage so I'm going to call this one weapon damage we will add a local list variable make this a number as well and Let's say this weapon does 200 damage. No, that's too much. Let's say it does 75 damage out of my thousand. So, I don't really have a weapon to display or a character to use that on me because I just want to make a quick video. So I'm going to add a trigger in here. Trigger on input. Keyboard press, let's go with E. We will math, arithmetic, or arithmetic, I don't even know. Anyways, subtract numbers from our local list variable, that being our player health. 
So our player health will equal player health minus weapon damage. So now every time I press E, it should go down by 75. There we go. Now, notice how it goes negative. Nothing happens to the player as well. I'm going to create a new trigger. This will be called player... Or I'll just call this death. So trigger on update run conditions add conditions and add a branch if math that one compare so if our local variable health equals zero then we will ragdoll our player as well as, because I don't want it to go negative, we will set the number of our local variable health to zero. Save that. Let's give that a shot. Hmm. That didn't seem to work. That's because equals zero. We want it to be less or equal to zero. That should work. There we go. And notice how it stays at zero now. It wants the fight to go negative, but that's pretty much how you do that with um, variables and not stats. Mind you, having stats makes it a whole lot easier having different classes with different stats, but this is a good workaround. And it should work, I mean, theoretically, like my inventory system that I've made in some of my series that uses stats, it should be the same. So instead of, you know, a stat named weapon equip, and I would have a trigger called, you know, on weapon equip one or on two, you would set active weapon one or weapon two. Now you can do it uh, for variable. So on variable equals one, or equals two, you would set active weapon one or two. Um, I haven't really dabbled a lot with variables, but I can see myself that it's damn near the same thing, just a little more work to it, but that's basically, you know, and it's cool for a lot of things. You could set weapon speeds or movement speeds. That's kind of the method I'm using in my new project. I have different weapons with different weapon speeds, and I'm able to add abilities that, you know, change my weapon speeds which would change the variable, so they're pretty cool. I'm definitely going to use them a lot more. And yeah, that's a quick little video here for you guys, and good luck. Hope this helped.